welcome back to Vault Hunters 118, and in this episode, we're taking a break from Mechanism and gearing up for some vaults, as you can see, because the patch notes for Update 8 just dropped, and oh my gosh, Treasure Rooms finally, finally get the buff they so deeply deserve. So today, we're hunting keys. We have two keys in the pouch, a blank key in this chest, an unidentified key in this bounty, and 22 key pieces. So, our goal. We of course need to craft this key into a proper key. We need to get two more key pieces, as well as enough black chromatic steel to make three more blank keys, and we need to kill 29 strays. So, bounty completion, six black chromatic steel, two more key pieces, and uh, I think that would be three gem clusters alongside any other additional keys that we could find. Well, check it out. We've got Gilded specked into here. We got our gear stuff on right there. And I have four beautiful crystals crafted up for our entertainment. So I just say, let's get into it. All right, we were definitely hoping for a snowy theme and ornate and wild is not bad. Ornate's pretty good because we need carbon for our black chromatic steel because we're completely zeroed out on carbon. Uh, wild, well, wild just always sucks, so there you go. Um, but right now, I'm focusing on gilded chests for those key pieces. Those are going to be one of the bigger limiters. Update 8 is a massive update. I think it's the biggest update that Vault Hunters has ever had, both in terms of, like, what it changes and the actual, like, <laughs> list of patch notes. So I'm curious if you guys would want to see an update video from me. I know a lot of people already do update videos, Hellfire Mage, and stuff like that. Um, so is that something you'd be interested in seeing on my channel, or is it something that you mostly have covered on YouTube? I don't really want to, like, make redundant content, because, you know... I, I mean, I suppose I do make some redundant content here and there, because I like putting things in my own words. But, um, yeah, let me, let me know if you'd like to see that. Ooh, hello, Gilded Dungeon. That's cool. White nice. Although these dungeons are horrible. I don't even have a uh what is it? Ghost walk up. Kinda need ghost walk for these. This style of dungeon is really hard without it. Cause there's always mobs. See, there's just always mobs. There's a keepies and a rune. Very cool. Okay, that got really close. Let's take that a little bit more tactfully. Whew. All right, Mini me, you keep doing your thing in there. Okay, that's one spawner down. Whew. Scary, scary. But I believe there is a second spawner in this particular dungeon. There it is. Oh, wait. That was easy. There we go. Okay, whoa. All right, we can loot this dungeon and get out of here. That took way too long. Am I gonna have enough health left to eat the kiwis we need? Oh man, I've called this one really close. This would be bad, it would break my stuff. I know the boots would go. I don't want that to happen. Oh, nah, we're good, there's the portal. Whoo, see, four hearts left, plenty of time. Plenty of health. Barely even a close call. Look at this. We have 14 seconds on the clock. I could I could chill. I could chill here. Yeah. Ooh, 8.2 thousand 109 chests and 56 gilded. Very good. Alright, let's see. 147 raw carbon, which I don't think is gonna be enough. But we did get one of the two key pieces we need, which is super exciting. Also, 20 vault diamonds. Ooh, that is nice. We have been low on vault diamonds. So let's see how much carbon we can make 16, which is eight. Uh, that would be eight chromatic steel. So that means it's one black chromatic steel there. We have 12, or rather we have 13, it seems. Um, so we've got two of the six chromatic steel, uh, kind of, and then one more key piece and we're there. Nice, no bounty completion, but so far, good progress. Alrighty, vault number two. Let's hope we get our second key piece. Wild and opulent. Opulent might help. I'm really, really tired of wild. And also a possible completion on this one. Pretty easy for obelisks. 
So definitely going to aim for that as completion crates. I don't think completion crates could have any key stuff in it, but I've had completion crates with like 30 refined carbon in it before, which would be really, really great. Oh, there's a second key piece. Beautiful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now this is a carbon focused run. So wooden chests beware. I'm coming for you. Which is actually really nice too, because almost everything inside of a gilded chest is getting a complete rework. Uh, runes are being removed, uh, jewels are getting buffs on mining speed, I believe, and crafting. And I think, I mean, okay, well that's kind of what the gilded chest has. Well, I suppose the key pieces, of course, but we just got the key pieces we needed. And I'm not necessarily keen on finding more, because, uh, look... I've tried to find eight super rare things in a single episode once, i.e. Uh, eight knowledge stars in an episode once. I did it. I'm not doing it again. Well, except for that one episode where I ran two four times living and found ten. But, but th that was extenuating circumstances. Oh, you know, I just remembered. I had a comment uh, asking me to, during a vault, go over how I do my pack setups and my tools and stuff. So I am more than happy to do that. Of course, right now I'm running around, so I'm going to be talking about it. Uh, so I have five pouches on me. Okay, you can see, uh, whoa, there are three in my inventory, one in my hotbar, and one in my, you, I just opened it up, but I did it really quick, uh, one in my trinket slot or whatever bobble one of my bobble slot the one on my bobble slot carries golden stuff for vendor rooms uh extra blocks uh my keys um i believe it has a set of armor that i intend to use for like looting and stuff but i don't really use that anymore so i'm probably gonna remove it to save space um i would store like extra food in there but i don't really need to at this point um but just Stuff that I may or may not need throughout the vault that I don't want to clog my inventory with. Hey, then I've got a little green pouch, this guy here, uh, with pickup upgrade. I mean, all my pouches have a pickup upgrade because that's how I use them. Uh, that is for scavenger items. It's filtered exclusively to pick up scavenger items um, because when I run scavenger vaults, it makes it super, 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 super easy. Uh, to view them all in one place, you know, you just have to hover over it, hold shift, it'll tell you exactly how much you have of what, and it cleans your inventory up a lot, and since pretty much all your scavenger items drop on the ground, you know, it's very convenient, very, very convenient. Uh, that black double pouch I have in there is my ores pouch, as well as bronze, silver, gold. Um, it's pretty simply because, uh, you know, you get a lot of ores if you're doing ore rooms. You get a lot of golden stuff if you're doing gold rooms. So I have a lot of stack upgrades in it. And you don't need more than a double pouch. Uh, because you don't have to filter for both the stone ores and the vault stone ores. They count as the same item, at least in regards to simple backpacks. So you'll see here. I can open it up for you guys really fast to show you. I only filter out the stone ores, actually. But it's still picking up the vault stone ores. Oh, I also put uh, gold sand and cage dust in there because they're, they're both, like, things that you mine up a bunch. Then there's that undyed pouch, which is my catch-all. Um, the way the pouches mod checks for uh, what pouch to put something into is first it checks your hotbar, then it checks your inventory starting from this slot, so this slot takes the highest priority, right? And so I have the pouch the catch-all pouch is in the least slot and it just filters out stuff like you know my pickaxes swords in case i throw them out um it filters out soul shards because those are you know meant to go in my soul shard pouch um so that's pretty easy and then of course i have the belt that i keep in my hot bar and that is just my goodies one it's got a bunch of stack upgrades it's got a bunch of space and it picks up all the items that i typically loot Okay, this is creepy. The clock room. Hmm, I don't like that. Ooh, vendor room. Vendor, 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 vendor. That's so lucky. Okay, we're gonna have to do this one quickly, though, because we are nearing the end of the vault, and I want to complete it. Uh, okay, any... anything to buy? <laughs> there we go, let's see. What can we buy here? A skill shard for 14 silver? Uh, mm, sure. Not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. 
Skill shards are not hard to come by, but still nice to have them. And, uh, okay. Oh, wait, there's something up here, I think. Ooh, a jewel. Sure. Sure. The likelihood this thing is good. I mean, it's a chipped jewel, too. Uh, actually, that's not bad. 33 size for 4.6 mining speed. Actually, no, that is bad, especially because in the next update, they're buffing that. Well, uh, unfortunately, a very weak vendor room. These, you know, can be can be quite good, but uh, not today, it seems. Not today. There's the last obelisk. I was looking for this guy. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Get away from me. I don't want to deal with you. Come on. Dash. Thank you. Hello, my friend. Ta-da. Oh, I do love me a vault completion. Always a pleasure. Hopefully we get a lot of carbon. Whoopsies. Okay. Did I not take any damage from that fall? Yay, 15,000 XP. you love to see it. Well, 142 on carbon. I think it's about the same as what we got last time. Oh, we got a gemstone in that one. That's quite interesting. And, of course, our last key piece for our purposes. Beautiful. Alrighty. Great time. Oh, I'm going to take my magnet off. Great time. Woo. That might be a copiously jewel or gemstone or whatever it's called. Uh, a nice axe. Do I see any carbon, though? Carbon, carbon, carbon. No. That's quite unfortunate. Let's see what we got, though. A ah, terrible copiously jewel, but it was copiously. And a bad shoveling. Uh, let's roll this sword. Uh, otherwise, eh, got a mystery egg. Mystery egg is nice. Ooh, fun little model. Uh, not that good of a sword. You know, I've just noticed we don't have enough black opal. We might not i mean uh let's see i mean if we get if we get lucky with fortuning up this black opal we should be okay i think but only time will tell please give me a lot of black opal i think that's all going into a pouch 48 from 21 is a good haul which makes 16 so let's see it's two for a key two for a key two for a key and then we need one, two, three, four for the clusters. Beautiful. And a little bit to spare. Now I'm going to make a hunter flask because we want ornate chests. Now that we got all the key stuffs we need, ornate chests give the most carbon. Alrighty. Back into the fray. And we get gilded. <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> Oh, just our luck. All right, I see our Nate's down there. Our Nate's up there. Okay, okay. We're having a little bit of luck today. Hey, check it out. All the scavenger items pop right in there, and it's so easy to see what we got. I love it. As much as I do want to complete the scavenger, because, you know, maybe a good crate. I don't know. I, I got stuck on the word crate. I almost said crake, which is the reward for a cake vault, which I actually was going to do today. Um, but then they were like, oh, no, 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 we're making cake vaults, uh, really cool and awesome and better now. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll wait. So, the, we will be seeing more of those come update eight. Ooh. But yeah, eight, eight commons from living is actually going to be really hard without a hunter spec into living. Ooh. Very nice. Ornate dungeons are some of my favorite dungeons. I love the lava because it kind of kills off all the bad guys man my my words have just been getting stuck in my mouth recently what is up with that oh i love looting these i hope we get a ton of carbon i say after literally I, oh my gosh four chests and i haven't seen a scrap of carbon what are we not gonna get a single there we go nine pieces of carbon there we okay now the carbon's coming oh no wild west room i'm already done with my key pieces I'm gonna keep on focusing on carbon, getting carbon all day long. Oh, dragon room. Ah, uh, I don't really have the time for a dragon room. That's unfortunate. And I guess I could get the coin piles at top. Yeah, these guys are safe. Oh no, did a bunch of stuff fall off the edge? Well, I have a, the blood vials. Do I have all the rip pages? Uh, close on the rip pages. And of course, nowhere near on the drowned hide. So if I find something like the mushroom room. Oh, uh, not a mushroom room, but an omega room. No, not an omega room. 
This is a this is not an Omega room at all. I don't know why I thought this was a vendor room. This is a gilded challenge room, also known as the Wild West room. And is that another Wild West room? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of gilded chests. Um I'm not gonna do these because they're really hard. And we don't have a lot of time. And I'm still really kind of looking for carbon. But uh that was interesting. Oh, we did get more drowned hide. Can we get double more drowned hide? Ooh, halfway on drowned hide. Not bad, but we need a lot more. If every single one of these living chests has a drowned hide in it, and no, okay. Well, if every single one of them had a drowned hide in it, the vault would be complete right here, right now. But it looks like only two of them did. So we're still two drowned hide away. And, uh,. Yeah, the time has almost ran its course, so I do not necessarily feel confident that we will be completing the vault. Kind of sucks to be off by two common items, but you know what? That's kind of how it is when you have to get eight of them. Oh, I see a living POI. Let's see it. Can we see two drowned hide? Well, that's a zombie brain, so we need both of these chests to have drowned hide in it. No. Okay. Dang. All right, well, that was a big gamble. I'm leaving the pickles. I'm leaving the pickles. Because we got to get out of here. Hello, home. Hopefully, I have a lot of carbon. Ooh, 155 chests. And uh, 34 of them were ornate, and 87 of them were wooden. So I'm thinking we probably got most of our carbon from the wooden chests. And ooh, look at our sword. We got a smack of a paracord on that guy. Uh, let's see, 406 raw carbon. That's got to be pretty good. Ooh, a new chest plate. What's that? An orc chest plate look like? Very cool. Uh, not very good, though. And, um, I mean, item quantity magnet. It's not horrible. Well, the range is, but the velocity is pretty good. How does it compare to this guy? Better range by a little bit. Better velocity. Slightly worse mining speed. No rarity, but quantity. Hmm... Might use this one because quantity is pretty important. Now the big question. Do we have enough carbon to do what we want? 77. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's get our chromatic out. So we need 16 per uh, key, I believe. I believe we need 16 per key. To be honest, I'm kind of doing this completely off of memory. So I'm going to craft up exactly as much as we need because we also need carbon for power stuff. Okay, so that's one key, two keys, there we go, three keys, that's as enough, that's as enough as we need, is what I was gonna say, that's as much as we need, with seven refined carbon to spare. Whew, now we only have one crystal left, and I really want to complete this bounty, it has been here for ages. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run vaults, and I'm gonna craft crystals, and I'm only gonna run a vault if it's a snowy theme, or if it has really good modifiers, so I'm gonna just cut okay because i've already been recording for a lot longer than normal and i don't think it'd be that interesting to watch me run a bunch of vaults that i'm inevitably not really going to do anything with uh but to give you something you know to tie you guys over uh before i go on a big vaulting spree i say we crack open the 20 mod boxes and the uh 61 relic booster packs now i know that we have 52 mystery boxes but i'm gonna leave those for now because um, I want to save those until we need like diamonds or emerald and cross my fingers that maybe they get changed. Because right now they're pretty useless. But we do need some more relics and the mod boxes are going to be super duper 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 duper. Whoa! What is going on? What? What? That's the most amount of relics I think I've ever gotten in one go. Oh my gosh. And they all went into this thing. Get out of here. Get out of here. Turn that off. Oh, wait. There's more in here. Oh, my gosh. Now, the big question is, did we complete any relics? No. No. Oh, new one for the dragon. No. 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 That's a new one, but no and no. <laughs> well, there you have it. Still haven't completed a new one. And mod boxes, because I really need dielectric paste and perhaps some more uh, power generation stuff, because our power generation is very sad at the moment. 
I do see some power generation stuff in here. Ooh, an importer. That's really nice, actually. That's really nice. Two heat generators. Uh, a basic energy cube, which is quite useful. Botany pot, Nixie tubes, solar panel basic. Yeah, bunch of bunch of basic. Oh, sorry. There's a Twitch emote relic. Like, I think we have this one, though. Yep. I got excited for a second because I didn't see it. But no. You know, I think I'm going to use this heat generator, actually. Because at the moment, I have our fissile fuel generation not doing anything because it uh well because it kind of sucks up a lot of power uh i do want to have a full backlog though of fissile fuel which we're getting close to we're getting very close to a full backlog of fissile fuel but i just want to have a really nice thing to start with so how does this guy even work i see so we're gonna fill it probably with lava or something i wonder if we could use like an electric pump to pump lava into this hmm i don't know well uh, I'm not going to do this right now. Actually, I'm probably going to do that off camera because I want to keep this episode focused for the first time in DJ the Awesome history. I have never been this stressed out about killing mobs. I need one more. You saw that? 34 out of 35. We have a minute and 20 seconds left. Come on. One more stray. Please. I've been at this for seven crystals. <laughs> this has been a very expensive and tedious process. I please do not end this. Please do not end this on one left. I will be so sad. Come on, I don't have that much health. I can't, oh, there it is. Yes. And we're out. Oh my gosh. Okay, now, now mission objective is uh, survive. <laughs> oh man, I hope I am not too far away. I do not want to break my gear. Putting on the speed idle. I don't usually do this, especially when we're uh, dealing with reducing health, but uh, I think it might be a good idea. Oh. Oh, we are close. Oh, I'm glad I checked my uh, compass. I forgot that I was on a on a sidetrack. Oh, yes. There's the portal. Oh, my gosh. That was horrible. <laughs> but it's done. It's done. Wow. We got 8,000 XP from just killing mobs. I looted a few chests. I looted a few chests. Oh, and the and the portal's all weird here. There we go. That's better. Oh, but finally, finally, after all this time, the, I have had, oh, and there was even chromatic and stuff in there. Fine. Great. Good. I have had that thing for so long. What is my treasure key? Ashium. Good. Good. We didn't have one of those. Okay. With that key rolled, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. I'll take this blank key and we gotta begin crafting. So we're gonna need three of these key molds. So that is going to be six black chromatic steel, very expensive, and three perfect echo gems, very expensive. That doesn't leave us with many echo gems. In fact, it leaves us with one. But we now have three key molds. And the easy part is of course, surrounding the key molds with the blank keys beautiful and we have four black opal perfect black opal because we need to make our gem clusters okay let's see we'll want to make a pizza night cluster uh and i don't want to double up on keys so we already have an escalium we already have an upland i don't really want to double up on keys i feel like it'd be better to like have a bunch of keys you know what i mean all right, so we'll do a Gorgonite door, a Tubium door, and a Xenium door. Hey, we've never opened a Xenium door before. I think all the other ones we have opened. So our, our pog numbers are significantly reduced now. You know, only seven pogs. Ooh, I, I feel poor all of a sudden. And for some reason, I wanted to do this in a crafting table. Um, ask Joseph of a second ago why he wanted to do that. But here are all of our beautiful gem clusters. So now we just got to pop the keys in and pop the clusters in. Oh, yes. Four keys all at once for a total of seven keys. Uh, I mean, it'd be really cool to have nine keys to guarantee that the room we were finding we could open. But uh, I guess who knows? Come uh, Sunday when the update is slated to release, or possibly Thursday, possibly Thursday, but don't take my word for it, don't take my word for that, possibly Thursday, maybe we'll be ready, but I can finally take this bounty and just complete it 
because it's literally a bunch of polished vault stone. I think I need like a little more than this. Yeah, but uh, I'm so, uh, so nice to be able to actually do bounties again. I've missed this. Bounty complete. Oh, how I've missed you. Come here. Give me that noise. Oh, yes. It's so nice. Wow. 56 vault ingots. We gotta craft some gear soon. Gotta craft some swords, maybe.